Hello, and welcome to my channel, Making Crafts. So it is Freebie Share Saturday, and this week's freebie is the Lavender and Lace Collab Freebie from Line.Arrow and Kara Brandon. So this month, um, as a design team member for Line.Arrow, I will be using the collab kit from Line.Arrow and Karen Brand Kara Brandon. So they came together to create a kit. So for that kit, they are doing um, freebies each week. So for about... I think it's three different weeks you'll get a freebie. But I thought I would show you the first week's freebie and then um, I won't be using them for the freebie share on Saturdays each week, but hopefully throughout the week because I will be making a journal using the actual kit that they have as well. So for this freebie from Kara, this one you just go to her Ko-Fi store and I will link it below and you can download this freebie. And then each week she'll be uploading more videos, I mean not more videos, excuse me, more freebies on her Ko-Fi store. So I know it's at least two more weeks of freebies coming around. So you'll have to check back there. And then for Line.Arrow, she is giving away this freebie along with this one this week. And this is on her Facebook group. And so um, you have to join her Facebook book group to download this freebie. But it's very simple. There's no obligations when you down when you join a Facebook group. You know, it's very easy, and you get to see ideas of other people using these papers and using her kits. And so um, I thought I would just go ahead, since I was part of this collab, and I'm going to be using these kits anyway, I thought I would just combine it into my freebie share Saturday for this one. And um, I know I'd said I don't know if I'll be every other week or every week, but I think for the month of March I'm going to be every week with a freebie because as long as I have the energy and I have the time to do it because um, I found some really cool freebies for this month. So I want to do a small project with this freebie, and then this is the actual kit. I was going to use pieces from it today, but I think I'm going to hold off because I have a journal I'm going to make with this anyway. So what we're making today is an envelope folio, but a super easy envelope folio that's going to go in our journal. And it's just a great addition to your journal. So um, that's what we're going to do. And so what I wanted to do is just use the pieces from the kit. That way you can... For my freebie share Saturdays, I want to use the freebies in a way that we use the pieces from the kit and just basic supplies that you would have at your house. So let's get started. What I have done is I've gone ahead and cut out my papers and ink them, except for this one. I'll have to stop and um, cut it out in a few minutes, but I've gone ahead and cut down my sheets to the size I need them, and I've went ahead and inked around the edges so that you wouldn't have to sit through all that. So I will tell you the measurements though. So what I've done is, here's the sheets. You can see it's the same sheets. I've just cut them down. So I cut my sheets down to seven and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths. And so what I'm gonna do is it's an envelope folio and typically I cover junk mail envelopes when I do that or I cover just envelopes that I have. But today I wanna make my own envelope because I've got this new board and I want to try it out again. So now, Keep in mind, if you don't have an envelope punch board or you don't have this or something that you can make envelopes, you still can do this. So you could do this, but you would just have to find an envelope size that you like, and then you would, um, you could take that envelope apart and trace around it and cut out the um, envelope template, uses your template, or you can find envelope templates online. Um, you can... There's many different ways you could make your envelope, and you could just make a basic envelope by just folding, you know, uh, I, if you've ever seen, sometimes we'll fold them and then just fold a flap down. You could do that too, but I'm just going to make mine with this board today because I know a lot of you have scoreboards, you have punches. Um, some of the, like the Martha Stewart scoreboard, it came with a guide to make envelopes too, so a lot of you have these, and if you don't, then you can find a template or make your own template with the envelope, junk mail envelope that you have, or just cover the junk mail envelope with some papers. So I cut it to seven and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths because I'm going to be making a four by six. Um, well, the envelope will be a little bit bigger than four by six, but it's to fit a four by six card. That's the size I wanted. So on our little score guide here, it says that we need to put our paper at three and a quarter. So I'm just going to start and do that. Now, this is not going to be a tutorial on how to use this or how to make an envelope as much as it's going to be a tutorial tutorial on how to create a simple envelope folio. So you'll have to come up with your envelope, and then once you come up with your envelope, then you um, then we'll I will show you how we're going to put it together. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my envelopes made, and then um, 
then we'll, I'll, I'll show you how it's all going to go. So I was, thought I would just mention a little bit about this collab since I mentioned it at the beginning, the lavender and lace collab. And it's where Kara and Natalie came together and designed a kit. And so you'll find part of the kit in Natalie's shop and the other part of the kit is in um, Line Dot. I mean, you'll find part of the kit in Line Dot Arrow Shop, and the other part of the kit is going to be in Kara Brandon Shop. So today, I'm just going to link, and I'm so sorry about the noise behind me. My cat has decided she has found a box, and she is destroying this box. She is ripping it apart. I'm not sure what she's doing, but I, I do apologize for the noise. But we're just. Since she's happy, we're going to let her be for now. So hopefully that noise is not so much that it bothers you. So um, today, I'm not going to be linking to all of the collab kits because since this is my freebie share Saturday, I will be back creating a journal with that kit. And so I will link to it on um, then. So today what I'm going to link to is the freebies. I'm going to link to the freebies that you can get as well as the Facebook group where the challenge is because both groups are having a challenge. So you can download Kara Brandon's freebie from her Ko-Fi, but she also has a Facebook group that she's using these. People are using these her kit in as well as these freebies to make things and to do this challenge. And if you participate in the challenge, you um, you could win some freebies, some digital freebies from these shops. But also, um, you don't have to participate. You can download these freebies and create whatever you want to out of them. You do not have to actually participate in the challenges. It, it's just that they're offering the, offering the challenges as well. So I forgot to punch these, so I'm just going to come back in and punch them. So I'm hoping that... I know I, I explained a little bit, and I don't know if you saw the video from last Saturday when I did my freebie share Saturday. I'm hoping to do freebies and ones that you can easily access. Some of them may be Facebook, Facebook groups, but I'm hoping to find some on websites and things where you, if you don't do Facebook, you can still participate. And my whole goal is to kind of give you something on the weekends to create because I know not everybody has time to think up projects. I don't always have time to think up projects, but it is really nice when someone else thinks up the project for you. All you have to do is download the papers and, and do the project. And so that is my hopes with the freebie share Saturdays is that I give you a project that you can do on the weekend. And my hope is if you're a beginner, you'll be able to do this. And that's why I'm giving ideas on, if you're a beginner and you don't have all the punches and things, that's why I'm giving you ideas on what you can do because I want it to be this accessible to everybody. If you're a beginner, you can do this. If you are have been crafting for a long time, you could still do this. And I know this isn't new if you've been crafting for a long time, but um, sometimes, like I said, we, we lose motivation or we lose our mojo and we need somebody to just give us some ideas of things to do. And it's so much easier sometimes just to follow along and craft with others. I used to love to go to craft parties and do that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fold on these lines and um, just on the scored lines of my to make my envelope. So I used to love to go to craft parties and so the host would have already come up with the project we're going to do, which stamps we're going to use, all of that. And so we just had to follow along and create. And a lot of times she had already cut the pieces for us. And I love that, especially when I was first starting out because I really struggled with cutting my own paper. But, um, but then I also loved going online and following you know, tutorials on other people's tutorials on how to do things because, and that's why I'm trying to give you measurements and things, but give you ideas if you don't have these because I just want you to be able to craft on the weekends. I think it's it's good for you to take a little time each weekend and craft if you enjoy crafting. And if you're watching my video, more than likely you do enjoy crafting or you're looking into crafting at least. So that's what um, I'm trying to do. And so I just want to help you out if I can. So now I'm just taking a look at this and trying to see which direction I want my envelope. I could do it like this. That's going to be a little upside down. But it could be that way for, if I wanted to do that one. And then this one would have to be this way. And I do like that. So I'm thinking that's what I want. Because if you, as you can see, it's going to be um, sideways because, you know, we... We are 
making an envelope out of it and it doesn't do the straight pattern, but I'm okay with that. I like the looks of that, but I'm just trying to decide which look I like as far as this side. Do I like this over here and then, I think I do though. I think now that I'm looking at it, I think I like this here and then this one it means I'll have to change the direction of it because they need to be kind of opposite of each other, I do believe. I'm trying to remember. Yes, they do. So, do I like that though? Because it's gonna cut that little lady's face off. That's the hardest thing is just deciding on this. So if that one was on the front, this would be my front one. And this is gonna be then my um, back one. And to hear that noise in the background, I don't know if you can hear or not, my, my cat's playing. She's very young and very little, but somehow she's moving this box around and making so much noise. But she loves to play, and I love to see her play. Okay, so let's see. I think, I think I'm going this way, and then I'm going this way, and it's okay because nothing else, if it bothers us, we can cover this with something. So let me take a look here. Actually, so this one's going to fold back like this. And this one, I may be telling you wrong. My mind is getting backwards now. Um, I had this all figured out. Maybe it is, it is this way. So that would be perfect. Yes. So I, I was telling you wrong. I was making something totally different in my head. So this is the way I want to do it. I Normally when I do these, I don't do them this direction. But I decided that I wanted to try something different this time. So that's why I'm getting a little confused. So this will be this side, and then we're going to have this one like this. So what I want to do is I want to glue them um, shut, and then we'll go from there. So we're just going to run some glue down through here to glue them shut. And then this one will do the same thing. And we'll just close this side of our envelope up because that's going to be a pocket. And I forgot that I do want to fold this down. So I'm just going to fold it back. And then I'll get my crease line in there. This will make it easier for me to line it up this way. And then I'm just going to fold it over. Now I will need to come back with my ink just a little bit on that edge. But I'm not going to ink long, so it won't take me long to do that one. So I'll just go ahead and ink it while I'm on here. And I see that I need to add just a little bit more glue here and right in here. And I'm only folding that down. You don't have to fold yours down if you didn't want to. I just wanted to see more, um, you'll see, of the inside pocket. And, I, and that little tip, I feel like it's gonna be a little fragile when we're sliding things in and out. So that's why I am folding it down. I think you can hear Clarissa. She is climbing up my chair now and meowing. I think she's getting ready to come up here. That's my cat. I think she's getting ready to come up here and help me um, craft. She is, I think, you know, I'm a messy crafter, but I believe she's an even messier crafter. <laughs> she likes to shred paper. So she makes a huge mess, and she likes to knock all the papers off my desk. So when I'm gone, she comes in here and she knocks all the papers off and stickers or anything else that she can find that she wants to, and all the fussy cuts, she knocks them in the floor. And then the problem is the dogs like to get them too and shred them. So I have to be really careful what I leave laying out now that she's here. And she's right here on the side. She's right at the table trying to see what I'm doing. But she's full of energy. So we're gonna have our envelopes like this now. So if you've already had your envelopes pulled out, now you're, caught up with me. I've Well, I've caught up with you. So you've probably been waiting for this. So what I'll try to do is I will try to, um, in case you're doing different envelopes and don't want to craft along with that whole beginning part, I'll try to list below where this part begins of actually putting the folio together. So we have both of our envelopes, the back side, what I call them the back side, because this is, you know, where you tuck things in, facing us going the same direction. So what I want to do is I'm going to fold the flap back on this one. And then I find it easier to do that. And then I'm just going to slide it into the other one. And then as you can see, we're gonna get this one in here. So um, you may wanna, I'm just gonna dry fit first to make sure it's all gonna look right and that I like how it looks. Nothing is just so upside down that it looks weird or anything. And so that's how that's gonna look. So I like that. So we are going to um, now just glue it in. I just like to dry fit before I glue. 
And now we can decide which one we want on the front because we could just flip it the other way. So I thought I wanted this on the front, but then I'm looking here, I like this too. So it doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna leave this on the front because we're still gonna decorate it up some. So let's just pull it back apart and add some glue to our flap. And I like to use wet glue for this because if you're using um, like a tape, you know, the tape runners, as soon as it touches, it's not gonna let you maneuver it much at all. And so with the wet glue, it does give you time to just slide it like that. You can move it around some. I think a glue stick would too, but I don't have any luck with glue sticks staying for me. So then we're just gonna fold that back. So I tucked it in and I fold it back to make sure, one thing I'm making sure is that I'm kind of getting the um, fold lines lined up on top of each other where this, of this flap and this flap. And so that also gives you double thickness so that this will make your folio a bit stronger. And then, let's see. Um, um, this glue I've got right here, is, the lights, it's really hot in here tonight and it's drying really fast. I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. You can use Fabri-Tac for paper as well. And I'm just gonna do that because my um, art glitter glue under these lights, and it's really warm in my house, is drying um, really fast, but I don't wanna turn the air on because it's getting cold outside and so it's gonna be cold tonight. So we'll need all this heat in here later on this evening. It's warm enough right now, I'm having to wear short sleeves, but it's gonna, the temperature's dropping outside, so it, and the wind is blowing, so it's gonna get cold. So we'll just have to just change what glue we're using for now instead of worrying about getting it cooler in here. So I'm just pressing it down so that we have pockets. I think I'll take my bone folder if I can find it, or my pressing tool. If I can find it, I had it. Here it is. And I'm just gonna reach in here and press everything down good and I'll do the same thing on this side and so we have our little folio so now it's time to start adding even more to our folio so like I said this is a very simple one this isn't a one that's extravagant you could use this as a card you could use this as happy mail and stick little surprises in all the pockets that we're getting ready to do but my reason for making this one is to um to add it to my journal. So I want to, I'm not going to sew it in my journal, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to a pocket or I'm going to clip it on a page. I haven't decided yet which way I'm going to do it. I never really decide these things until I'm actually working on my journal. And I have not started the journal yet. I just have it in my head. And so if I'm excited about it because I am going to be making a style journal I've never made. And um, I'm so excited to share it with you all and to try it. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to just try it right along with you all, and we'll see how it does. But um, I think it'll work out just fine, and I'm excited to to create it. And it's um, it's really a no-sew binding as well. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully I will get to that in the next week or so. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and fussy cut out the little... Um, so it's like little cards, but we're going to use them as pockets. And I fussy cut the butterflies. I fussy cut this one first, and I decided to do close to the edge. But once I did, did it, I wasn't happy with it. So the other two, I left some white around them. I think I like the white around them better. It seems to frame them out. So we still have these tabs here that we could use, and we have some little pieces of washi tape that we could use. So part of the challenge, I don't know if I told you about it, but you, you don't have to do the challenge, but part of the challenge was to make the... Um, envelope folio this week and the next week we're supposed to be making embellishments for it and um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to make this and I'm going to embellish it but then next week I will make the um, things that we're going to put in the pockets and we may embellish the pockets even more with some of the freebies from next week. So I'm going to use these in a different way. So I was looking at them and I think maybe they're supposed to be this direction but when I turn them this way I'm fine with it. So I'm going to use this one as a pocket here and then I'm trying to decide which side. I think I want it on this side. I don't think there's a right or wrong way. And have two pockets inside here. So this is just a small folio to hold, you know, just a few tags of things. And then we'll put things in here. And um, I'm kind of thinking, I'm not sure yet. Um, I might make it like a little journal or something to put in it. But I will do that with you all when I do create it. So I will show you how I do it. 
So now for these, I went ahead and I did ink around them. If you don't have ink, don't worry about it. Just You can just cut really close to the brown. I didn't do so good cutting, so I um, inked around them. But if I'm, I want to make this so that if you don't have any supplies, you can still craft. As long as you've got a printer and some glue and some scissors, I want to make it so you, you can do these projects. Because I really, my really purpose of my YouTube and stuff is just to help others enjoy crafting. And I know there's times you don't feel like crafting. So if you don't feel like crafting, getting up and crafting, then that's fine. You just can watch craft. There's been many years that you, I just watch people craft because I did not feel like getting up and crafting. And if you have times like that, then that's fine too. Hopefully you are, um, you just watch along and enjoy the video and hopefully it'll inspire you to craft later on. So I'm just gonna center that up and all I did was put glue on two, three sides and I left the top unglued. And this one, this glue does take a little bit longer to dry, but my other one was drying too fast under my lights or either this house. This house feels hot, but sometimes it gets hot under these lights, so it could be the lights doing it too. Okay, sorry about that. The dogs got to bark and had to check on a few things. So, um, I know this is very simple folio, but I hope that you enjoy making it. And um, I think this is a project anyone can do. And I think this will be great to add into the journal. I'm not really sure yet how I'm gonna add it, like I said before. So I wanna decorate it up. So I've got some lace out, and I wanna add lace inside this pocket. And I'm hoping that it doesn't make it hard to slide things in and out. But you're not gonna be sliding in and out all the time for this one. This is gonna be a pocket in a journal, so it's not like you're gonna be sliding stuff out daily in it. So I'm thinking of just adding that piece of lace there. I'm trying to decide, do I want a small piece or do I want a larger piece? I kinda like that one too. Um, this is one I wish that you guys could be like, yes, use that one, or you could tell me which one to use. So I think, hmm, I'm gonna cut that little wrinkle off because I can use that, it's wrinkled up there. I could use that in a cluster anyway. I use the bits and pieces. I save all my bits and pieces and use them in clusters and different things. So how's that? I like that, I like it. So let's cut this down to fit. And then I'm just gonna add a little line of Fabri-Tac along the edge here. Just a thin, thin line. Because I don't want to um, make a huge mess. Like, oops, like I normally do. And I'm trying to find the right side. I'm not sure which one's the right side with this one. I think it's this side. It'll be the side that I like, so that's the side I like. Okay, so I'm just gonna tuck it in there. And I think I'll need to trim just a tad off right here, just so I can, just a little bit, so I can get it tucked in there without scrunching it up. There we go. And I think that looks good. I like adding lace to things. You don't have to, like, and I know that this isn't a freebie, and this is, if this is supplies you may not have. And if you don't, you could, I'll try to give you some ideas, though. If you don't have any lace, you could take, if you had any fabric around, any scrap fabric, just tear it and just put a piece down through here. Leave it plain. Don't worry about it. So either way. Okay, so we've got our little pockets that are simple, and they just, um... You know, you can tuck things in there, and we're gonna make things, or we're either gonna use tags or something, depending on what's in our freebie next week, we'll figure out what we're gonna use in that freebie to put in these pockets and to put in this one, and possibly this one. I may make a little journal to go in this one, and so I will make that with you, like I said, though. So now we really need to decorate it up, but I'm not really sure what all I want to add to it. Now, this is gonna be a pocket, so I really don't need to decorate there. That. The paper is so busy that I don't think I need a lot because the paper is so beautiful, too. It's not, when I say busy, it's not a bad busy. It's so gorgeous that um, I feel like I don't really need to add much to it. I do like adding butterflies. If you've watched my channel any time at all, then you know I love butterflies. Um, I'm trying to think what else I may want to add. The butterflies may be all that we need today because, and then in here... I may wait and embellish next week if I, depending on what's in the kit. I don't think we need any tabs right now. We'll save those for next week because we might want to use those to slide things in and out of the pocket. We do have this little card here. I'm just tuck it there for now. And um, 
We do have the little washi tape, but I don't really, I don't think I really need that. And so the back here, I think I'm gonna use leave plain. I don't think I'm gonna add pockets. But this is just a little work in progress. We'll work on it next week as well. So I just want to show you just a quick little project today. And then I need to, um, I did have this doily here that I thought about putting on here. So there's so much you could do. But I'm going to keep this one simple today. We may make another one later on that has a little bit more things in it. But this, I think these would actually be very easy to mass make for different journals. And I may come back later this week and use some different paper and make some more for some upcoming journals that I'm planning on. I have several journals in mind that I want to create, but I've just got to get started on them. So I might make some, I need to make some ephemera up for them. Really, that's all I'm gonna add right now, the lace and the butterfly. So I know this is a very simple project, but that's what I'm trying to do, like I said before, with these um, freebies. So next week, I will come back with the freebies from this um, and show, show you another little project to add on to this. I don't know if it'll be on Saturday or if I'll just do that as another video on a different day and do a different freebie next Saturday. Saturday. So we will see. We'll see how my week goes, see how my schedule is. So um, I'm hoping I have more time to craft over the next few days. But I hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope it's inspired you to get started on crafting and just to make a little something. And if you make yours, be sure to hold on to it and wait for next week's projects and we'll continue to work on it. Well, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.